In this experiment, we will try to understand the working of our lungs by building a model of our lungs, diaphragm and chest cavity. For this experiment, we will require a big plastic bottle with a tight fitting lid, two small balloons, one large balloon, a Y-shaped tube and some rubber bands or thread. We will also require a cutter, a pair of scissors, a lighter and a candle and matchbox for building this model. To build the chest cavity, we will use a large soft drink bottle like this one. Using a cutter, cut off the bottom three fourth of the bottle like this. The rim of the bottle can be sharp and it can hurt your fingers while handling or even puncture the balloons. Smoothen the rim by bringing it close to the flame of a lighter or a candle. Next step is to make a hole in the cap of the bottle lid. You can start a hole in the cap with a nail like this. Expand the hole using a cutter and scissors till it is large enough to fit the single end of the white tube. Ensure the white tube fits snugly in the hole. Secure the two small balloons to the Y ends of the white tube with rubber bands or thread like this. Pass the white tube through the bottle and insert the single end of the tube into the hole in the lid that you had made earlier. Screw the bottle lid tightly. Apply some glue or hot wax around the hole in the lid to ensure it is airtight. To make the diaphragm, cut across the big balloon. With the help of a friend, stretch the balloon over the open base of the bottle. Check if the balloon is taut. The setup is airtight and now ready. Pinch and pull on the taut balloon at the base of the bottle. What do you notice? You will see that the two smaller balloons inflate when the diaphragm at the base is pulled down. If you hear closely, you can hear the air whooshing in and out of the balloon. This is a simplified model of how our lungs and diaphragm work. Respiration is an involuntary activity performed by our body wherein air is taken in, oxygen is absorbed and unabsorbed oxygen, carbon dioxide and other gases are exhaled. The respiratory system consists of the nasal passage, the pharynx and the trachea also known as the windpipe, the lungs and the diaphragm. Inside the lungs, the trachea splits at the base into bronchus, which further splits into a network of bronchioles in each of the lungs. When the balloon at the base of the bottle is pulled down, the space inside the bottle increases. This causes the smaller balloons to inflate. Here, the bottle represents the chest cavity. The balloon at the base of the bottle represents the diaphragm and the smaller balloons represent the lungs. Similarly, when we breathe in, the diaphragm flattens under the lungs and the ribs move out making more space available inside the ribcage for the lungs to expand 
and to take in air through the nasal passage. When we breathe out, the diaphragm moves up and the ribcage falls inwards, reducing the space available for the lungs. The contracted lungs then push the carbon dioxide rich air out. Do this experiment under adult supervision. Strictly have an adult perform the steps that involve the use of cutter, scissors or lighter.